Baruch. Yes, that's right. A Warframe's monk that is literally the One Punch Man and the Red Crit Pacifist. Now, if you've never played Baruch, you are missing out because this Warframe is so much fun to play and it's just so satisfying. If you don't know where to get this frame, you need to be level 4 with Little Duck in Fortuna. So get grinding if you haven't maxed out your Fortuna standing yet. Now, Baruch is quite a niche Warframe and I will admit is quite a mission and complex to get a proper build. But once you understand it and get this build, I promise you it is so satisfying and it is worth it, boys. Baruch is mainly a survival and disruption Warframe because he thrives off a group of enemies he struggles with enemies being split apart and only one or two here he needs a group of enemies to be at his full potential i'll explain why he thrives with more enemies around in the later on in the video and as we go along and i want to go over every ability so that you can understand why we do the things we do for this bowl leave a like on this video and subscribe to see some more content in the future and if you would like to support the channel further consider becoming a member it would be greatly appreciated and i will be putting members names up on every video thanking them let's hop straight into the video <laughs> Soka. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over Baruch's abilities and explain how he works. Now, how Baruch works is he actually has a restraint bar on the bottom right. And this bar goes down and down when you dodge a projectile and you lull the enemy with your second ability. Your second ability is called lull and puts them to sleep. Now, as this bar goes down and down, when it goes down from full, you can actually press your fourth. But the best way to play Baruch is to get your bar all the way down to zero and then press your Serene Storm so that you have more time in your fourth ability. Your fourth ability is called Serene Storm. I'll explain how that works later when I do the gameplay and explain everything. Enemies that are lulled or disarmed or each projectile dodge erodes his restraint and fuels the storm within as baruch's restraint is diminished he becomes 50 percent more resistant to damage baruch's first ability is called elude it is a useless ability because you're always attacking basically you dodge all incoming projectiles but only while not attacking you don't really want to do that because you're going to be hitting with your fourth ability the whole time so it's useless to use elude now this ability can be changed for something else like pillage or whatever you want to put on here it doesn't matter but this ability can be the flexible ability for the helmet segment now his second ability which is a very important ability called lull this is what builds up your restraint insanely fast it puts enemies to sleep and it stuns them for a short duration. Now, the way this works is you want to have lowest duration possible so that you can spam this ability as fast as possible to build up your restraint as fast as possible. Now, his third ability is called Desolate Hands and this is Baruch's survivability. ability. As you can see here, damage reduction 90. This ability summons a whole bunch of daggers that float around him and basically seeks out enemy guns, destroying them with a small explosion. And this is the one ability that you want to keep up all the time with Baruch. Now, moving on to his fourth is where I was talking about Serene Storm, which is his exalted weapon called the Desert Wind. And basically, he does a whole bunch of fist moving ability things that are really cool. It's like freaking Airbender from freaking Avatar. It's awesome. It's his fourth ability, and you will pair it with an augment that we're going to talk about, which just makes Baruch so strong. All right, so let's go over his actual build. Now, I know you're going to be like, huh? A flawed continuity, but just trust me. Okay, so remember how I said you want to get as low duration as possible when playing Baruch because you want to spam his second ability as fast as possible to get your restraint up as fast as possible. The reason why you do a Lord continuity is because you don't want insanely low duration because as you see here, the lull puts them to sleep and obviously that's a good crowd control. So you don't want it to be like two seconds. You want to at least have some duration. So five seconds is a good sleep duration and the duration of 1.2 seconds is pretty fast as is to build up your restraint the only downfall of this build is you are energy hungry so if you have an arcane energize this makes this build really really good so i would recommend if you have an arcane energize to use it replace molt augmented or arcane strike however arcane strike is really nice for getting that attack speed up with desert wind so we go rolling guard of course for steel path for survivability and fleeting expertise for a little bit of efficiency because we struggle with that prime flow you want a lot of energy to spam your lull reactive storm now this is the augment that is pretty much only used in baruch because it makes him insanely strong basically it makes his exalted weapon the desert wind give 250 percent status chance and it changes its damage type to match the enemy weakness what makes us so strong is exactly that Whichever enemy it hits, it attacks them with the element that they're weakest to, which makes so strong and just OP against everything that he attacks. Umbral Intensify for extra strength, Blind Range for strength, and Chanting Fortitude for strength because you want to stack up strength for his fourth ability. 
as you see there's 725% status chance. Then you want handspring. This could be a flexible slot, but handspring is quite nice in case you get knocked down. Malay guidance. Now the reason why we do Malay guidance is because this is the only way that you can get your combo duration for Desert Wind to minus one. I'll explain why you need that now. You have to kind of use Malay guidance. It really, really helps. And it's a bit confusing, but we'll get to it. So with Baruch, you need a stat stick. Now, the stat stick you need is the melee stat stick. I use the Vassalot because it builds up your combo really fast. You can use any stat stick. It could be a Zor, any weapon, anything like that. It's fine. As long as you have the three gladiator mods on your stat stick, that's what you want to build it for. Because as you can see, 30% critical chance per combo multiplier times up by 12 combo mod. That's 360% critical chance. Now, we use High Noon for the gunblade to basically shoot as fast as possible. Then we do Shattering Impact. Now, Shattering Impact is just for armor strip because you don't really have have armor strip for Baruch when you go late game or like endurance runs for steel path and things like that quickening for attack speed and combo count chance and then these are the three important mods here body count true punishment and drifting contact so you want body count because you want to stack combo duration on your stat stick to get up to 12 and you want to keep your combo up as long as possible so that you can keep this set over here up as long as possible, giving you red crits constantly with Desert Wind. Now, Body Count gives 12 seconds of combo duration. True Punishment gives additional combo count chance and minus combo duration. Drifting Contact gives combo duration and status chance. Like I said, any stat stick, it doesn't matter. You just need to have the three Gladiator mods to get that critical chance per combo multiplier. Now that we've got the stat stick out of the way, we go over to the focus tree, which is Naramon. The reason why we do Naramon is because we need to have this power spike maxed. This makes life so much easier for this build because it keeps your melee combo counter long. Now, what it does is now instead of depleting instantly, it just drops it by five every few seconds, which keeps up that combo for long. So Naramon is really, really useful. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Desert Wind. The Desert Wind, as you can see, remember how I said the combo duration is minus one? When you press your fourth, the Desert Wind will keep that combo and hold it for longer, keeping those red crits up the whole time. That's basically how the mechanics work. If that still doesn't make sense, when I hop into the simulacrum to explain, you'll see what I mean. So for this build, you're going to go for Viral, Prime, Fever Strike, Berserker Fairy because you want attack speed. It's really, really useful to have good attack speed because you are a clearing Warframe. You just clear enemies all around. That's why you're good for survival and disruption. Critical Chance, Organ Shatter for critical damage, Pressure Point for melee damage, obviously. Hold for viral, a bane mod. Even though there's gladiator might on the stat stick, you want to put it here because it gives you that 60% critical damage. Now, obviously, if you don't have the prime mod, you don't have to use the prime mod. You can just use the normal variant. You'll still do a lot of damage. All right. So now that I've explained everything, I hope that it was easy to understand. Let me hop into the simulacrum so that you can understand it better and see what we are dealing with. All right. So now that we are in the simulacrum, I'm going to test against corrupted heavy gunners. Now, remember on the uh, Desert Wind weapon, I actually have Prime Bane and Grenier, which is fine. I'm just going to show you anyway because he's still has enough damage even with the wrong bane now basically how baruch works is as follows you basically go up to the enemies you press your third ability now as you can see there your restraint will slowly start building up as it starts uh, stealing their weapons because remember lol goes out and takes their weapons and your restraint starts building up now your restraint bar will actually go up faster if you use your second ability so as you can see there Check that out. You see your restraint bar going down the whole time. Now you keep doing that for a group of enemies, which is why I say Baruch works best when it comes to a group of enemies. So that imagine 20, 30 enemies, yeah, you just press two and your restraint bar just shoots straight down because you have so many enemies that you put to sleep. Now you gotta keep spamming it, keep doing it. And eventually it starts building up the restraint. Put them to sleep. Takes a while. Remember how I said it's an energy hungry bolt? Yeah, that's what as you can see here. It's really energy hungry. Cool. As you can see, the restraint's down long enough. It's going to have enough duration for me to show you. So in a normal mission, you keep your third up for damage reduction. You go out, you lull enemies, and you got your restraint bar down there. Now, what do you do at this point? Remember that stat stick I told you? Yeah, you just pressed. Awkward. I was supposed to shoot there. Anyway, you basically just press E. E again. See there at the bottom right? Your uh, combo... At the bottom right, your combo duration is maxed. You see there? 12. You see how slow it goes down? You can just shoot up again, get that. Now that your combo is maxed out at 12, you press 4. Now, over here in Desert Wind, it won't show the combo duration there. But however, in the stat stick, the combo is still there. And you have that 360% bonus of critical chance from the Gladiator set. So as you can see, he does that. This is his fourth ability. Now, this is basically what you want to do as Baruch. You only want to melee 
as his uh, fourth ability. And just look how satisfying it is. Honestly, look at this. It's just beautiful. Now, if you start hitting enemies and you keep hitting them and then you notice you got orange crits, it just means that you've lost a combo stack. To fix this, all you have to do is literally just go out of your fourth, press E, go up to 12 again, go back to your fourth and back to red. So you can see how fast it is. You can see how satisfying this is and would be against uh, like a group of enemies, that kind of thing. It's just great. Now, as you can see, the restraint bar is going up now and it's busy uh, going up to max. If you want to lower it, you can go up to enemies and press two and lull them. You see it will drop it even under his fourth as it goes the same for the other way. You can keep spamming it and you see that you can lower your restraint if you want to keep it up the whole time. That works too. Now that's basically all you have to do with Baruch. You literally just get your restraint down and you just start having fun and just being a freaking avatar last airbender out here. Because look how satisfying. I remember how I said Arcane Strike would max rank be nice because of faster attack speed. The faster you can hit, the more damage you can do, obviously. And you see I lost uh, my restraint there. To rebuild it, I just got up here. So yeah, max rank uh, Arcane Strike or anything for more attack speed would be great in terms of just quality of life and getting things done quicker. And yeah, Baruch is just so great for clearing on Void Cascade, Survival and Disruption. He can work when it comes to other missions, yes, but not that great because as you can see how slow his restraint stacks up. If you're doing an exterminate, your friends are going to get all the kills before you can even restrain up. So that's the downfall of Baruch. But in terms of all content, like he can obviously clear it, no problem. But yeah, he's best for that. So yeah, guys, that is Baruch for you. And I hope this video was easy to understand. And I hope that you guys know what to do now. He is a really great Warframe and one of my favorite frames in terms of the look and how his mechanics work. I really love how his mechanics work in this game. It's really, really awesome. And I love his fourth ability. It's so awesome. And yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And please hit that like button. I will see you all in the next one.